Our brief agenda today is marking up and reporting several postal namings and resolutions. And I thank the ranking member, Mr. Issa, for working with us to move these bills quickly. I ask unanimous consent that the following resolutions be considered in block and as read and open to amendment at any point. The bills include H. Con Res 127, introduced by Representative Barbara Lee. This bill recognizes the significance of the National Caribbean American Heritage Month. H. Con Res 142, introduced by Representative Elijah Cummings. This bill expresses support for National Men's Health Week. H.R. Res 350, introduced by uh, Representative Joe Sestak. This bill honors the life and accomplishments of Harry Kalis for his contribution to the base baseball and the community and the nation. H. Res 469, introduced by Representative Tom Cole. This bill honors the life of Wayman Lawrence Tisdale and expresses the condolences of the House of Representatives on his passing. H. Res 476, introduced by Representative Steve Cohen. This bill supports the goals and ideals of Black Music Month. I have a manager's amendment at the desk on this measure that makes a technical correction to the title. And I ask unanimous consent that the amendment be adopted and considered as the base text without objection so ordered. H. Res 483 introduced by Representative John Klein. This bill supports the goals and ideals of veterans of foreign Wars Day. H.R. 2004, introduced by Representative Dale Kildee. This bill designates a facility of the United States Postal Service located in, in Akron, Akron, Ohio, Akron, Michigan, as the Akron Veterans Memorial Post Office. H.R. 2760, introduced by Representative Diane Watson. This bill designates a facility of the United States Postal Service located in Los Angeles, California, as the Johnny Grant Hollywood Post Office Building. These are all worthy measures, and I urge their adoption. Does the ranking member have any comments on these? I recognize them at this time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have reviewed these postal namings and resolutions and find them to meet the requirements of the committee and would urge their support and yield back. Any other members with comments? I ask unanimous consent that these measures previously described be reported favorably by the committee without objection, so ordered. This concludes our business for today. I ask unanimous consent that the staff be authorized to make technical and conforming changes to all matters ordered reported without objections, so ordered. The business meeting, yes, to recognize the uh, ranking member. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you for recognizing me out of order. Uh, we, we do have one resolution which has not been considered here. Uh, I believe that it is timely, uh, but it is not prepared at this time and would express uh, to the committee a uh, request that we consider going out of order and reporting directly to the floor once a consensus amendment has been reached uh, as to the 75th, commemorating the 75 years of the uh, archivist. Uh, that, that bill is not before us today because there are some technical corrections, uh, but because the 75th anniversary is coming up, I would uh, want to make sure that the committee was not surprised that I will be coming to you if we can reach a con uh, an acceptable amendment asking to uh, bring it directly to the floor, which is not consistent with regular order, but which I think is appropriate in this case and would ask uh, your uh, c consideration of that when it's prepared. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm familiar with it, and uh, I, I think in this case we would make an exception, but ordinarily that would not be the, uh, 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 the procedure. But in this case, um, I know there's been some discussions, and uh, so I would range to do that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and we'll continue working to try to reach that consensus. Okay. Without objection. The business meeting stands adjourned. We will break and reconvene for the hearing in just about five minutes.